Hello everyone, I'm Ali from Ali G Art Designs. Thank you for joining my channel today. Uh, so I thought I'd just share a little bit on what I've been up to. I haven't been on screen for a while, physically. Um, so as you can see, I've got this beautiful picture at the back and I have put a frame on it. So I actually made this frame myself um, and I am just perfecting the process. Um, and once I do that, I would really like to present a video on how I make frames for my paintings because you, we all know that framing is very expensive. Um, so if you're interested in a video like that, can you leave me a comment? I'd like to know that people are really wanting to know how to do this uh, when I perfect it myself. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, the painting that we've got today, it's the same colours as I used for a beautiful painting that I did a couple of months ago. It was a, a wedding gift to my niece um, and I loved it so much. I thought I'd do another one because I really want to put it out there. Um, so uh, enjoy the process. It is on a 60 by 60 centimetre board, just a square board. Um, it's just beautiful colours and I've done a split base. So uh, stay to the end to see the results and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. And can I just say that if you do like the video um, and you want to see more of them, please subscribe and click that notification button so that you can be notified um all that said let's get messy and paint all right um so what i'm going to do that's a little bit different than the other one that i did i am going to actually do two tones of a uh, base color so here are my two colors as you can see they're both that really uh, muted sort of purple with a bit of black in the color so they're it's basically just white with a little bit of ultraviolet and black and so anyway they're my base colors all global paints um, and all mixed to the same consistency um, if you're not sure how to mix your paints please check out my video on how I mix my paints and I'll put that in the description and you can learn how I do that works for me all right um, okay I'm gonna start with the base colors and I'll walk you through the other colors as I use them this is a square canvas, it's 60 by 60 centimetres. I'm just going to use sort of like a bit of a half and half um, and then we will get started on the actual top colours. Does that look like half? <laughs> a little bit, it's okay, it's just a start. All right. Okay, that's just to pop the bubbles that come through mixing, um, which I think I've done all of it, but I'll do it again a bit later. All right, so let's have a look at my colours. Um, I'm going to start off with Global White. I've actually realised I'm going to be starting from a different end that I normally start on. Um, that shouldn't be a problem though. I think I can handle that. All right. Um, I might just do a little one here because I don't want to get too crowded with my colours. All right, that's white. I'm now using Payne's Grey that is mixed with uh, metallic pearl All right, 
I am going to be using Tahiti. Just helps to give a little bit of a pop of green. I won't use a lot of this one. I'll just go quite thin with it because it just gives a nice little pop of other colour, contrast colour. I'm also going to use a very small amount. This is I haven't used this colour in this sort of colour theme. A little bit of a coral that's mixed with a little bit of magenta. Um, just to sort of just really just a little bit here and there. I don't want too much because it is a solid colour. Just some pops that might pop up. Okay. Uh, a little bit of magenta, again, not too much, but it is in the colour theme, so it's and it's very bright colour. I do love magenta. And I'm going to use ultraviolet. That, what am I mix, throwing on my board? Um, ultraviolet mixed with metallic pearl. I'm going to use my magenta mixed with metallic black. Fair amount of this colour because it is lovely. Got a few colours, <laughs> not short of colours, that's for sure. Alright, um, I'm going to use, yep, I'm going to use my um, global metallic pearl. There's going to be a lot of shimmer in this by the Looks of my choices. And top it off with some gold, which is Pebio Iridescent Gold. Okay. All right. Oof, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to blow the, the, the other way to what I'm used to. But it's all right. It's not a huge challenge, is it? Turned out in some spots it's so beautiful. Uh, some kind of got drowned out a little bit. Um, but I'm going to do my uh, swipes and blow with my mouth. Um, sorry that I get my head in the way when I do that, but it just get I just get the effect that I want and I need to do it. Um, so let's just see how we go. All right, um, ooh, missed a bit.
I think that's that's done. Now I don't need to do much more on that. All right, I'm going to fix where I've dipped myself in about five times now, um, and I'll give you a close up. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Oh, something about this color combination that is just absolutely gorgeous. Just check it out right from the start. Lots of sparkle, gold coming through. There's that section there. Bring you over here. A little bit of magenta coming through. And see how that little a bit of um, coral color comes through? It mixes so nice with the green and it's not over the top. It's just a little bit. And it just gives it a bit of, uh, I don't know, a little bit of spark in a different colour. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is gorgeous. Oh, just love it. See again, that coral just showing up a little bit there. Oh, look at that gold just doing its magic. Oh, that is just absolutely adorable. I love it. So here's this picture, all dry. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colours have just turned out so amazing. You can see just the light changing um, on the metallics. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, the only thing I was a little disappointed about is that, oh, look at that lovely metallic there, is that I used a different medium in my base colour and it just kind of gave it a bit of a yeah, it's gorgeous <laughs> just see it changing with the light um, i'm distracted um it just left a little bit of a shiny uh, base that uh i don't know if you can see that but it kind of left a little bit uh shiny and where it was really thick the paint is shinier than where it's thin so i haven't got an even Base. So I'm a bit disappointed by that, but the colours are gorgeous. I am going to go back to using just Flow Troll in my base because that works better for me. But anyway, that is my beautiful painting and I absolutely love it. It actually looks like one of the lilies that I've just had bloom. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.